Hey guys, Joey up here, founder of the Mastery Academy and author of more than 75 books on Chinese metaphysics. And good news, the Geek Number Oracle is out and um, I'm going to sign all this uh, for you guys today. For those of you who have pre-ordered, the books are on their way. I'm going to explain to you the concept of the Geek Number Oracle. Now, to explain this book, it all stems on the concept of the Book of Changes. Now, as you may already know, the Book of Changes is uh, one of the most ancient books in Chinese philosophy. Um, there are two schools to this, in fact many people don't know about this. The, the, the book that you see in most bookstores that are a thousand pages thick are the philosophical school. It explains the concept of uh, each hexagram and how it relates to the Shang Dynasty at the time. You know, most of the time it stems from the concept of the Zhao Ye. And in it, they have the concept of the Gua image, an explanation of that. The Gua text and each text itself have a commentary. And this is the original form of Yi Jing. Now, to learn this, it takes a very, very long time because each trigram, the, each hexagram has an uh, explanation and each text itself takes a long time to interpret and you got to have a very deep understanding of Chinese culture and Chinese philosophy. Now, um, there's a newer school that is developed sometime during the Song Dynasty. It's called the Image and Numerology School. Now, some of you may have heard of the system called Plum Blossom Divination, Mulifa Yekso. Um, this is the new school that uses numbers and images, the same concept of the Yi, based on the hexagrams, but they use it in a different way without referring to the original text. Now, under the plum blossom technique, they use, uh, to plot a hexagram, they use the date, for example, or um, they look at timing of the, a specific time a certain event takes place, or what they see at the time, and they also use the numbers to convert into hexagrams and then they interpret the hexagrams and what meaning it has for a certain situation. So that's the image and numerology school. So the concept of number oracle that I've written here, this is not exactly classical Yijing, but it's a simplified concept of Yi where you know the end user could use it immediately. So what happens is it still contains the concept, the information from the 64 hexagrams, but what I've just I've derived are the 384 text explanations. Now, instead of explaining it in the ancient context as per the philosophy school, I've turned this into immediate advice or immediate situation explanation that you could use. So it's all in the pages here. So like anyone, if they require information, they pick up a number from that situation and they just refer to the following page and then see the interpretation. Now, the whole concept of Yi stems from the concept of divination. Now, before you go on to thinking that this is something to do with spirits or you ask the divine on it, that's not the way. Right? What we're talking about here is basically the concept of synchronicity and affinity. It's about universal knowledge. It's about deriving information. Some people say it's from the subconscious mind. Now, it's very simple. The idea of Yi Jing comes from seeing a situation and asking for guidance how, what the situation means and what to do. Okay, so we call this the concept of affinity, being at the right place at the right time. Concept yin and yang, no action, no answer. Now, um, you know, have you heard of the concept of the Chinese fortune sticks? You know, in the past, you know, there are, um, if you go to the temple in ancient days, you go to the temple, there's this, there's this, um, you know, little uh, bamboo shoot where you put in all the sticks and then you, you cast the, uh, the, the sticks in front of the altar and then you, and there's a number that refers to the outcome, it's supposed to be advice from the divine, right? Now, actually the whole concept of Chinese fortune sticks stems from the concept of Yijing, okay? The concept of Yijing comes from the 64 hexagrams with 384 possibilities. So if you have a uh, spiritual following or perhaps you are someone who wants to explore the deeper realms of your subconscious mind, you want to get answers from a higher knowledge, you can use the concept of affinity and syn synchronicity. When the question comes, you pick up the answer from a specific number and with that number, the explanation is here in this book. Okay, that's how the whole concept of Geek Number Oracle works. But the purpose of using the Geek Number Oracle is to understand the concept of change. You know, change is inevitable. In any situation, any day, any time, change takes place, whether you like it or not. Now, the problem with change is, you know, people are constantly faced with decisions they have to make every day. The problem is, people want to make decisions or don't make decisions because they fear the result of change. You know, you don't know whether something happened to you will be good or bad. So, sometimes you delay something or, you know, you have a fear, right? So now, Change can happen in two ways to any person's life. There are only two ways that your life can change, basically. 
first method is something new comes into your life then things will change or something new come out of your, of your life then your life will change if do nothing nothing happens no change takes place okay so that's how change takes so that's how change takes place now the thing is when we want to make a decision to know whether the decision's outcome is positive or negative we perhaps sometimes need some guidance we need to know you know if we can anticipate the outcome we will be able to get better results in life we will be able to understand what the change takes place and what sort of outcome we can expect so so how do we consult the yi to get the answer now if you want to learn the full fledge of the yijing system it will take you many years what i do is i've done the laborious work for you and interpreted the 384 yao explanations into 384 possibilities okay now with that here's what you need to do first we got to convert the language of the yi into a number and from the specific number from that situation we derive a number from the number we refer to a reference table and from the reference table we look at the yao for the explanation it's as simple as that now where do we get the number there are many ways you can derive a number first of all we must understand that there are two ways to interpret the yi consult the yi the situational reading and the generic reading now situate this book is designed for situational reading meaning you have a question or a problem or issue you derive the number the number will tell you the outcome but sometimes you may want to also use it for generic reading meaning you want to tell a per, uh, about a person's um, life for example you want to know you know what is his outcome in, in, in life in general what is his luck so forth you can look at generic numbers that is attached to a person. I'm going to show you exactly how you apply these two systems. Now, let's say you have a situation. For example, you want to switch jobs, for example. But you're uncertain what is the outcome if you change to the new organization. So what to do is you think about it a couple of days, and all of a sudden, you know, that you, you're thinking about the, the question, and at the same time, an SMS came from your potential employer. So at the SMS, the text that came on the phone, it has, a, it has a time and it comes with a number. Let's say, for example, the number is 1314. It's 1.14pm. So this is the number and it's related to your question. Now, remember, every time you want to look for a number, it has to be randomly uh, obtained. You cannot specifically obtain a number for reading. It has to come naturally to you. Now, first you get the number, then you turn to the page where the reference number is. You turn. And you look for 1314. So 1314. So it's 1314. And with the reference table, you discover that the Yao number is 143. That would be your answer to this question. So now there's a shortcut in this reference table. If it's a black color number, it means it's the outcome is no good. That's a shortcut. If you discover that it's a red color uh, number, that means it's positive. Okay. But you want to know the details, you turn to the page. So you turn to 143. So you turn to 143, and then you can read your outcome. So according to this, if you are thinking about changing your, your job right now, and at the same time, this number came in from the text randomly, at the same time you're thinking, so you got this number, it is 143, and it says here, there is no need to be suspicious of others, meaning the job at this point. Just make sure that you are doing your part well, meaning you must have your qualifications. In terms of your business and your career growth and development, looks set to continue steadily and healthily. See, you can pursue immediately. That's your outcome. It's as simple as that. So you don't have to go through the full process of interpreting the yijing. The answers are here for you. All you do is consult the number. Now, for every situation, as long as you're thinking about something or you can meditate on it, some of you who are more spiritual, and at the same time, your number could be derived from your phone, for example, the time or the SMS or an item or, or your document. Now, there are many examples that are written here in the book. You can read it on the first two chapters. With that number, with reference to your questions, turn to the reference table, find out the Yao number and read the forecast. It is as simple as that. Now, what I've just described to you is a situational reading, meaning every day there are issues and with that, you can have your your. With that, you can have an answer from the oracle to help you, guide you with your actions. Remember, better decisions equals better life. Now, another way to use this geek number oracle is to look for generic outlook. Okay, A generic outlook, we look at numbers that are attached to people that are long-term based. 
for example, you can look at someone's, at some, at some point you may be thinking, okay, so what is his fortune or what is her fortune in the near future? What is his outlook in life? You want to know about this? Well, look for numbers that this person use all the time. What sort of numbers? For example, your phone number. Now, if you randomly selected a phone number and it's been with you for like 10 years, this number is associated with you. We can look at that number and find out how it relates to your life and what does it mean. For example, let's say the phone number of someone is um, 768751. Let's say this is a number, okay? Now, how you do this is you always look for the last four digits. Now, the full description of how this is done is in this book. But always remember, look for the last four digits. So this is 8751. Again, you turn to the page with the reference table and find out what 8751 is. And by the way, I've already listed numbers 000 all the way to 9999. Okay, so all these numbers for easy reference. Now, for those who are analytical, they want to know exactly how it is calculated. It's also explained here. But if you are short of time, you just want to dance, you just turn to the reference table, turn to the number saying, 8571. Okay. So you turn to the page with 8751 and you discover Yao number 360 will give us the answer to this person's outlook in life. So we turn to 360 on our page. 360 gives the forecast for this person. It says here, your nobleman or mentor luck is very good and your luck in general is the envy of others. You can have Whatever you want for yourself, whether that be status, power, wealth, or love. If you can extend a helping hand to others, help others succeed and become better people with your good fortune, this will ensure that your path continues to be smooth for years to come. See? You can use that for a general outlook for any person's life. Now, remember, if you want to do a generic outlook, always look for numbers that you consistently use. And if the number is more than four digits, just look at the last four digits. For example, um, if you use a specific number for your passwords, for example, some people like some password numbers and the last four digits that you've been using for the last couple of years explains your situation, okay? Remember, that's for generic outlook. So all in all, this Geek Number Oracle is a modified version of the ancient classics of change. Um, of course, if you wish to go further into the study, there's always the Yijing Mastery and our Geek reference books that goes into details of the traditional system. But this here are for the end users that want quick results without compromising on the quality and accuracy of the Yi. So all these are pre-calculated definitions of the for Yao's of the Yi Jing, which you can immediately use by converting a specific number related to a situation or related to a person, and then your forecast is given.